doing another mail day recap, except this version will be done live on camera. Gonna just rip everything open, go through, show off some things I've picked up recently. Should be all stuff that's for the personal collection. Just figured I'd do it a little differently this time. So broadcasting it live, so I appreciate all those who tune in live and participate in the live chat. And also, of course, it will be archived, and I'm sure the majority of the viewership will be via the archive, so I appreciate you guys uh, watching on the archive as well. And if you want to comment down below uh, and let me know that you watched it, let me know your thoughts, let me know what your favorite pickup is, that'd be great. Hitting the like button, all that stuff. Traction's just down um, on YouTube, and that's not why I make videos or continue to make videos, but... Um, Obviously, you'd like to see that improve a little bit. What's up, Joel? Appreciate you tuning in. And the mail days, yes, have uh, become very Philly-centric. If you go back like five years, you'd see a lot of vintage stuff and Hall of Famers and modern players and such. And I still like to keep some of those, but now more so I'll keep some out of some of the breaks I do and, of course, sell um, a good portion as well. Um, and I don't pick up as many, at least through the mail. Yeah, no doubt. All right, so we will, uh, we got a stack of stuff here. We got some PWEs. So maybe we'll see how some of this stuff's packed too. I hear a lot of people criticize uh, eBay shipping, and I definitely see it from time to time. I've seen problems, but generally speaking, I'd say most of the time people are pretty good. All right, this is a Nick Castellanos, Allen & Ginter Chrome Mini. That's a gold refractor, numbered to 50. So Castellanos. I like Allen & Ginter. Been well-documented through the years on the channel. Um, and I like the Chrome version and the refractors and all that stuff. So I'll, I'll pick up a lot of the Phillies uh, at the right prices, and then I definitely target guys like Harper. Another PWE, plain white envelope, um, eBay standard envelope to me is great. It makes me more likely to buy a card. Um, I hear people complain, but if you do it right, comes okay. I personally ship in a uh, semi-rigid. But the uh, top loaders can work as well, as long as you put it in a team bag or tape it down. Here's a Brandon Marsh. This is the Independence Day, serial numbered to 76. Independence Day looks very good with the Phillies. I actually want to pick this one up in the powder blue uh, Father's Day one. Just think it would look cool with that uniform. What's up, Robert Gonzalez? That's cool. Uh, I see people use this to um, protect what you ship. I think they do an okay job. Buying this type of packaging gets very, very expensive. Obviously, this one's well shipped. Uh, probably more well shipped than it needs to be for a DD Gregorius card. But I appreciate it. So... Of course, I'm not going to spend big money on the DDs, but I guess in the perfect world, I'd love to do the rainbow of the Phillies flashback set, the run. Um, never expect to get the Super Fractors, but I'll pick up all the others. So if I get them at the right price and flashbacks, I find to be pretty cheap from last year. Factor in the cost of the boxes. The difficulty in hitting the cards you want. I mean, the singles, generally speaking, dirt cheap. Of course, from time to time, stuff will go pretty high, but I guess I don't really have to clean off the top loader right now. But anyway, D.D. Gregorius Rose Gold Refractor. That one is numbered to 15. I'm sure that one was only a couple dollars. Another standard envelope. We're going through the standard envelopes first. Ah, Mike Lieberthal. Top Stadium Club Chrome Refractor. That's a cool one I ran into. That is from, looks like 2006. 
Stadium Club Chrome officially releases, I think, tomorrow. Even though the blaster boxes have been out for days, I have a couple boxes on the way. It's a fun product. I like it. Um, the refractors look good. The base cards look great. The color refractors don't really do it for me in Stadium Club Chrome. And it's a really big set, so it's it's pretty difficult just to get the stars or rookies and base cards. But there's a nice Lieberthal refractor. Seven people in the room. One thumbs up. Appreciate you guys watching. What up, Vintage Card Steve? I don't know if we got any Vintage Cards in today's mail day or not, but there's definitely some on the way. There you go. Thank you, guys. What the hell is in here? Is it even like card related? This is ridiculous. I could have easily ripped this envelope. It's a Terry Mulholland cut. This is from some goofy set. Um, it's just a cut. It's a Panini sticker, I think. Um, cut from some... Some release. That's pretty cool, but... My goodness. I would say there's... If I did this offline and not in the mail, I probably wouldn't have opened the envelope that way. I probably would have taken a knife and sliced it and cut this thing right in half, so... No uh, forewarning on that uh, package. But just an oddball. Obviously, doesn't have much value. I think it was only like a buck. Um, Terry Mulholland thing for the Phillies collection, for the Mulholland collection. What's up, Jeff? Again, we're doing this one live. So those who are watching the archive, just chatting to some of the people in there. Uh, Phillies are off to a very rough start in 2023. I mean, baseball season's been great so far. I've been watching games while I'm working on stuff. Pretty much everything's been great outside of the Phillies performance. That has been pretty brutal. So hopefully they'll get things together. All right, we've got a Brandon Marsh who had a rough game yesterday. Uh, misplayed a ball in the outfield. And then the base running thing, he has to get back, but you can definitely look at the third base coach there. But anyway, this is a blue refractor from Bowman's Best. Number to 150. Cool card there. I, I do like Marsh. I think he'll be a pretty solid big leaguer. He is good defensively, even though he had the miscue last night. He's get, improving as a hitter. So, and hopefully he can play against lefties because I don't know if the other guy can play that they got backing him up. All right, here's a Bryce Harper, Allen and Ginter Chrome Magenta Refractor, serial numbered out of 199. So, we've got a graded card. Don't love this packaging. I mean, it looks like it made it here safe. I always, when I ship uh, graded cards, I definitely always put a piece of cardboard on either side. Even though if you drop a concrete block on it, the cardboard's not going to help, but just feels like it, it can help. This is 2023 Tops Stars of MLB, Bryce Harper, 9.5. With the flood of, with the SGC special, the flood of SGC graded cards, and a lot of people just trying to get some money back i've been able to win some at auction uh pretty cheap for the collection so definitely better picking this up than sending one off myself so nice harper for the collection just love the tucked up harpers awesome steve all right we've got an aaron nola
That's a gold refractor from Finest Flashbacks of Aaron Nola. Golds are numbered to 50. Looks pretty good. Pay for this one. Eight bucks. Obviously, when you're cutting open a package, you want to make sure you're not cutting into the card. This one is very well, very well sealed. Oh, what's up, Jay? Yeah, this is. Oh gosh, I'm trying to. Well, my last mail day wasn't that long ago, so it's not like a super big backlog. I just won a bunch of auctions and had a bunch of best offers accepted. All right. Kyle Schwarber, 2022 Tops Allen and Inter Chrome. This is an X-Fractor. X-Fractors are, a, they're not numbered, so a lot of people overlook them, but the stated print run on them is 10. They're case hits. They're difficult to come by, and... A lot of times you can get them pretty cheap, and they look awesome. They look really good in this product, so I will take one for the collection uh, all the time. Ooh, bonus cards. All right, some this is some 2023 tops commons. So it looks like this guy had this at a show or in a shop at $75. This is an orange refractor of Andrew McCutcheon from 2021 Tops Allen Ginter Chrome serial number to 25. I won this one at auction, I think for like $15. Um, it was on like I like McCutcheon. Uh, I can't remember if I have a Phillies autograph of them, so I definitely wanted to get one, but I uh, was able to grab that one really cheap. It was one of those things I was like, you know what? I bought a lot of stuff. I'm not going to overpay for it, but if I got it at this ridiculously low price, I'll take it, and I got it at that price. Uh-oh, football action. What's up, Henry? Well, it's either open it and record it and... Do it as normal or uh, just do it live. And then it'll get uploaded as an archive. All right, this is a Drew Bledsoe card for the Bledsoe collection. I actually bought a few Bledsoes lately. This is a 1993 SP. It's the foil rookie, beautiful rookie. It's only an 8, um, but these cards are really tough. Like 9s, 8s and 9s you can buy. 10s, crazy expensive. Just one of those that I... Uh, one at auction and you prefer to win a few cards to uh, combine the shipping but sometimes it doesn't work out no real terrible packaging to this point is a Jim Tomei this is a gold refractor of Jim Tomei from 2022 tops Allen and Ginter Chrome out of 50, Allen and Ginter Chrome, again, I like it a lot. I have tons of it that I've been uh, selling during live sales and eBay and such. Perfect world, would love to build sets, just not something you can do, so that's why I kind of stick and push myself more towards affiliates. I will keep some refractors of certain Hall of Famers, some of my favorites, but it's going towards, you know, picking up the Philly stuff. next big envelope here all right that's not the best of packaging i mean the guy has got it in between multiple holders just did a lousy job of taping it but i mean the card's fine so i'm not going to complain about it free top loaders the card is a gold refractor of zach wheeler number 50 so cool zach wheeler 
I just load up the finest flashbacks. If they're cheap enough, even if I have them, I will uh, just uh, kind of keep bidding on them. Figure you could always use them maybe as a trade bait or something. All right, I think this is going to be, if I had to guess, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a Wheaties panel, I think. Try not to cut myself. That would be pretty brutal. Live on camera. There we go. Kirk Davis, Philadelphia Phillies. Little Wheaties panel. I've never picked up anything uh, Phillies related on Wheaties. Unfortunately, they didn't have any as small cards ever. But uh, this is one... I think I got this one at auction and won it. A lot of times guys just list them, you know, really high prices. And I don't blame them. They're tough to replace and such. But just kind of a neat little item. Would love to have something like this slabbed up. Just not worth it for the current price points. I I could care less what it grades. But this one will just go in a large top loader or semi-rigid. But Kurt Davis will toss that one back in here just to protect it it's fun picking up the odd er, items for sure it's just so easy to pick up your standard stuff I'll put that in the side nice I gotta I gotta watch a few of Minjini's recent ones what up, flipping sports guy? Again, appreciate all those hanging out live and then those who watch the archive. Should have some more breaks coming up on the channel. Do a hobby box of Stadium Club Chrome in a few days when it shows up. I just, SGC just received an order from me, so I'm sure that'll be done by the weekend. So we'll have SGC, PSA DNA. They haven't even logged the last couple orders I sent them, so that's going to be a few months away. What else we got? Um, live sale tonight. Hopefully some other stuff uh, coming up as well. Here's a Jim Tomei autograph. Solid gold grates. It's from Tribute. Nice looking card there to 150. This is some sort of slab, probably an SGC slab. I've bid on a few Phillies uh, that I won. The Tome, I don't remember offhand. Uh, I'm guessing I got it fairly cheap. I would think like $30 price range. Considering the cost of boxes of tribute and those types of things, can't complain. What's up, Bowman Brent 419? Appreciate you checking out the video. <laughs> Mark Appel. I think I won this one for like four bucks, plus shipping, of course. And it's a royal blue. Those are retail exclusives, I believe. It's a mint nine, so you know, this card has no future value. But Mark Appel. Uh, good story. It was awesome that he made the Phillies last year. He'll always go down as a guy who was a member of the 2022 Phillies, team that won the pennant. I'm sure he'll get himself a ring here at the ring ceremony. Um, good story and such. So just one of those cards neat to have in the collection. If you get it cheap enough, tucked up, why not? That's kind of my thought process on it. But just a cool card to add to the Phillies collection and a good story piece down the road. All right, we got three more here. This one is definitely multiple graded cards. A 
Would like to do some more live videos, chatting with some people from the community. Hopefully, uh, get some time to do that. This guy used a lot of envelopes. All right, what do we got here? SGC 10 Major League Material, Bryce Harper. Cool one for the Harper collection. That envelope was reusable. Well, technically they all are. You just gotta tape them down. Here's the gold rainbow foil, Bryce Harper, nine and a half. I didn't even, uh, in the last SGC order I did with the top special, I um, sent in mostly stuff to eventually sell, and I wanted to send some Harpers in for the collection, but I uh, I really didn't have any. And here's a 9.5, 2022 Greatest Hits insert. And I actually just bought another lot, um, and I got a Harper 10 in there, so the 9.5 I'll make available at some point. Some excessive uh, taping of that one. Oh, I think that one's from Probstein. 2019 Tops Now Bryce Harper Limited Edition G PSA Gem Mint 10. And then a Harper SGC 10 from 2020 Bowman Chrome 90 Bowman Design Gold Refractor number to 50. So which looks better? I think it just depends card to card. I've gotten very used to the SGC holders. I like them a lot. I do like the compactness of the PSA holders as well. Um, CSG might be the best hold holders overall. All right, this is the last uh, last part of the mail day. Then we'll be wrapping things up. I don't know what this is. I would assume some sort of greater card. So excessive. That big box is totally not needed for this. I mean, I'm not going to complain, but <laughs> this is just a random 2005 um, Drew Bledsoe PSA 10. I'm pretty sure he's in a Cowboys uniform. I just happened to win it at auction. It cost... What the hell? I mean... I'll take it, free card pro, but, like, this guy over the top. He's begging for positive feedback. Which, by the way, I do encourage you guys to leave feedback for your uh, sellers if they do a good job. Like, I legitimately just won this at auction cheap. I was kind of like, well, it's a gem 10, it's a bled so Obviously, I prefer his Patriots stuff. Not that I won't pick up Bills and Cowboys, but <laughs> it's just such an odd card. And uh, I guess it could be his last card. I don't know. He might have one the year after that. I'm not positive. But in that giant box, all that stuff, that's how we wrap it up. So thank you all for watching live. I appreciate it. Thank you, Vintage Card Steve. I'm glad I could be a small part of your uh, journey in the hobby. Appreciate all you guys watching who watched live. Appreciate the thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think. If you have any favorites, if you guys watched live and you want to comment on the video after it post, I appreciate that as well. Anyway, enjoy baseball. Enjoy the 2023 season. Let's go Phillies. Maybe they'll get a win tonight. All right, everyone. Thank you as always. See ya.